Hello everyone and welcome to Meal Plan Magic. Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up and get started using the tool. You will notice that when you open the spreadsheet, there are colored tabs along the bottom. Each tab is a different section of the tool that serves a purpose. We will get to each one, but the first place you'll want to start is the setup tab. This is where you will enter in your personal information, define your nutritional goals, and manage the initial settings of the tool. Before digging in, I want to quickly point out two things about entering in information. The first is that you can only type into blue boxes, which you may hear me refer to as cells. The second thing is that some of the blue boxes, or cells, are actually drop-down menus that will only let you type specific text into them. These drop-down menus can be spotted by a small arrow that will appear when the cell is selected and are an important part of how the tool works. So let's get started. I'm going to begin entering in my information that corresponds to the title of each cell in gray. So my name is Carrie. My gender is female. Now you'll notice that this cell is a drop down. If you tried to enter in something other than male or female into the cell, it simply wouldn't let you. Next, my age is 27. My height is 5'4". However, this cell calls for height in centimeters. If you don't know your height in centimeters or you cannot look it up, then you can enter in a number and it'll show you other formats so that you can play around with it until you get it. Also, you don't need to enter in the metric as the CM will automatically appear. Same goes for the other cells. My weight is 118 pounds and you'll notice kilograms to the right of the cell. Your body fat is optional, however, if you know it, then you can get a more accurate reading on how many calories you should consume each day. So my body fat is currently 19%. Lean body mass will auto-calculate if you know your body fat. This is how much everything in your body weighs besides fat, so your bones, muscles, organs, and so on. If you have a body fat that you're trying to get to, then enter it in here and see what your weight would be at that body fat. So for me, I'd like to be at 16%. And you can see my ideal weight would be 113.8 pounds. Your BMI and lean BMI will also be calculated, which are indicators of your overall body composition and fat. A BMI between 18.5 and 24.9 is normal. Higher than 29 is considered overweight, and under 18.5 is considered underweight. Body type is a very important part of how your macros are determined since everyone's body responds differently to certain calories. To figure out which body type you are, read the description below and reference the image. If you're still not sure, you can click on the image here to be directed to a survey of questions that will guide you through figuring out your body type. Notice that when I pick my body type, the suggested macros are adjusted. If you find these macro macros are not working for you, you can customize them in the next steps. Now we're going to pick your goal. The tool comes preloaded with settings for the four most common goals. However, you can choose to customize your goals as well. If you choose to create a custom goal, you can choose your own calorie deficit, a negative percentage, or surplus, a positive percentage. This is the percentage over or under the calories your body burns in a 24 hour period which is known as your TDEE, or Target Daily Energy Expenditure. You will also notice to the right you can enter in your own macros. Be sure that they add up to 100%. If you're not sure what macros you should be consuming, then you can choose a preset goal. I'm going to pick a goal to lean out to get a better understanding of how that works. Your activity level includes all activity throughout your entire day. As estimation, we suggest choosing your activity level for two to four weeks and adjusting as needed depending on how your body is responding to your calorie intake. Next is where we pick the method we're going to use for calculating our BMR, or basal metabolic rate, which is the amount of energy your body requires to perform its normal vital functions at rest. There are three trusted calculation methods and each have their place. Read about them to the right and see which suits you the best. The catch McArdle method is the most accurate method. However, it does require you to know your body fat percentage. 
Your target daily energy expenditure is calculated by multiplying your BMR by an activity level multiplier, shown to the right. You will see your deficit or surplus percent to the right, which is what your TDEE is modified by to calculate your daily allowance. Choosing the number of meals will dictate your calories per meal, which will be a useful reference when creating your meal plan in the next few steps. Weather environment, as well as activity level, are used to determine the recommended amount of water you should drink per day. Since you've inputted all of this information, it was easy to display your max heart rate, which can be used as a reference in your fitness program. Lastly, you should pick the first day you are meal prepping for. This will be reflected on your meal plan, grocery list, and prep lists. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please visit our help center on www.mealplanmagic.com. Thanks.